Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Welcome to Weather in Five, five days in five minutes. And uh, we're going to uh, talk about this morning the what is still the potential tropical cyclone that is sitting out in the northeastern Gulf of Mexico, at least as of uh, 630 Eastern time. The uh, Hurricane Center is anticipating that this will become a tropical depression shortly. They're, they're just waiting for the first, for sunrise so they can take a look at the first visible satellite views to see if we've got a, a, a well-defined circulation. More than likely, uh, it will get there at some point today and probably strengthen at least into a tropical storm. So this is uh, what we're seeing uh, with respect to uh, their particular forecast. And uh, the uh, system is drifting westward very very slowly top winds as of six this morning uh, 30 miles an hour forecast to become a tropical storm sometime tonight and forecast to become a hurricane sometime late friday night early saturday morning as it makes the turn up into the louisiana coastline uh, it, it will not have a whole lot of time to strengthen here uh, because uh, also because of its proximity to the coastline, uh, some of that circulation is going to start to come over land over time. So there, there are a few things working against this becoming anything major. Uh, the one thing that I would be cautious of is if a more westerly track were to develop uh, and uh, the threat would be further to the west. The uh, watches go from Boothville uh, in southeast Louisiana all the way to the other side. Uh, into the uh, southwest corner uh, to the Texas state line. So we'll see what they do with this later today. Here's what it looks like on the satellite. And it still has that sort of east-west orientation to it. Uh, these, This is the infrared imagery. So again, wait, they're waiting for the visible to see if there's some kind of closed circulation. And uh, looking at uh, thunderstorms on the east side and on the southwest side, there's not a whole lot going on north of uh, the center. And you'll notice, by the way, the weather across the Florida panhandle uh, back into southeast of Louisiana, at least uh, during the overnight hours, is pretty quiet. If you didn't know there was a tropical system to the south, you, you, would, you, you wouldn't be able to tell the difference. All right, so here's here's where we're going with this uh, on the GFS, which you know, pretty much keeps it up as a tropical storm as it moves it inland <clears throat> into southeast Louisiana. This track is a little further to the east of some of the uh, other runs. It is responding to uh, an upper high to the north. So here's here's what it looks like on the um, on the upper air. So you've got. Uh, the jet stream to the north dipping down into the eastern part of the United States. So that's our shortwave trough that's possibly going to trigger off some thunderstorms today. You have this big high, upper high that's sitting out in the southwest, and this is the reflection of the tropical system. So what winds up happening is that that little trough bypasses it, and you're squeezing the system in between two upper highs by the time we get uh, to Saturday night and Sunday. You've got one upper high here. You've got one upper high sitting off the east coast, a bit on the flat side, and your tropical system is going to try to split the difference. In the meantime, we've got this northern jet stream uh, moving along, and we continue to be just kind of on the southern edge of this, uh, which uh, is a good thing because at least it keeps weather systems from, uh, keeps weather systems moving along, and it can't get too hot, and it can't get too humid under a pattern like this. So we're going to see another short wave move through on Sunday, so that probably means another cold front passing by. And then going into next week, we're still kind of on the edge of this here. So uh, yeah, it'll probably get very warm to borderline hot, but it won't get too hot, nor will it get uh, too humid. So coming back to what we're expecting for today, uh, the models are generating some showers and thunderstorms here uh, late in the afternoon. Uh, into uh, tonight. Actually, you'll probably see some uh, showers and storms start to bubble up on the radar later this morning into this afternoon in clusters, and then maybe a solid line will come through later in the day as the front approaches and moves on through. Uh, Friday, maybe a lingering shower or storm. Uh, otherwise, we'll probably have clouds and some sun. Saturday looks good. Weak cold front coming through here. Uh, Sunday morning, you can see it. There's very little weather with it. So it might give us a little bit of shot of lower humidity. And of course, you see the what represents the tropical system kind of churning away there uh, in the Gulf states and moving northward. So the bottom line for us is 
Uh, we've got a little bit of rough, wet, rough weather later today. The Storm Prediction Center has marginal risk into western New Jersey, down into the Delmarva Peninsula, slight risk across much of Pennsylvania, uh, upstate and western New York, west of the Catskills, uh, where I am. I'm in the Alleghenies right now. And marginal risk down into Virginia, North Carolina, Tennessee, and Kentucky. So uh, keep an eye to the sky as far as thunderstorms are concerned. We'll keep you abreast of the lating, latest goings on with um, with the system in the Gulf of Mexico that's likely to become a tropical depression or a tropical storm later today, in which case it will uh, be named Barry. All right. Have a great day. I've been on vacation this week. Uh, both have been sporadic because the signal here is almost non-existent. There are just a couple of spots where you could actually get a signal, and I'm out here at this hour of the morning uh, to just try to do a quick live stream. So uh, you just uh, watch for stuff uh, during the day. I'll try and post when I can, and uh, we'll see you later. Thanks for being here on Weather at 5. And by the way, uh, you can always uh, go on the app. Uh, you can download my free weather app by going to uh, Google Play or to the App Store, meteorologist Joe Choppy, or just plain old Joe Choppy. Have a great day.